it. <laughs> it's not meant to be. Tweed Wong. Do I look in the camera? No, okay. I bet so. So I'm going to say this all over again. <laughs> well, my name is Tweed Wong and I am 25 years old and um, I am a student <laughs> and I also work at a restaurant. Um, I don't know. And then I do a lot of other things in between. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like, um, like acting. I'm a theater major, and um, that's been an adventure in its own. And then I like to sleep <laughs> whenever I can. Never and <laughs> whenever I can. Oh, wherever you can. And um, I don't know. I just I I don't do. I feel like I don't do enough sometimes. I used to do so much more. <laughs> really? Yeah, I feel like I don't know. Like my I, so far this year has been pretty. It's been hectic, yeah. But then I feel like it's, it's been more chill. Like more like I don't. I'm not running around as much. And it also helps this semester that school is closer. So that's very. <laughs> I used to work more. Um, yeah, I used to work more. Like now I'm not working as much because then I used, used to work at Starbucks and so then I used to um, wake up at 3 a.m. and then go into Starbucks at 4 and then get out at like 10 come back over here to this side of town because I worked all the way in Clovis on this side of town to pick pick up my friend and then um, go to school and then we'd be there and then we'd have rehearsal and or like I'd have class and then rehearsal until I don't know Ten, but I'd get home by like ten three. At night. Yeah, and then like you know you can't like un like you still have homework to do or like other things to do, and then it just starts all over again. So that got very exhausting, um, but you know it got me to where I am now, which is good. Um, but I think the lack of sleep during those three years <laughs> really affected me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, and now, now it's like super chill and now I just need to better manage my time since I have time now <laughs> and um, not procrastinate so much. <laughs> <laughs> and do you like um, pick up your friend every single day to go to... Um, back then, yeah. Just because like, you know, I always, I always try to do things. I don't know. It's just like you always want to treat people how you want to be treated. And so like, it's just... Um, I don't know. It's, my, it's your friend, and you you want them to have like their education and not be able to like stress because you know you know what it is like you know what it is to stress out, and if it is easier, like if it's just like a little bit of time out of your day that you can just make somebody else's life a little bit better. Okay. My hobbies. Oh. <laughs> Um, let's see. Let's see. Just, uh, just well, I, d I dabble in a lot of things and I'm not, um, I like to, I like to knit every so often, but I haven't touched it in a while, <laughs> so I don't know if that's like a constant hobby. Um, but I don't know, I like to just play around. I, um, I don't have time recently, but I like to go like work out or go to the gym. I don't know if you consider that a hobby, but <laughs> it's a stress reliever. It keeps, it fills in the time. And then I like to um, paint or draw or like do do things with my hands. I like to just create things. Um, what like when I was little, I would always watch like shows on PBS like Bob Ross or something or like Zoom and just like try to like copy their like painting techniques. Um, so I was thinking about that recently and I was like, man, I should like, I should watch those like things again and like try to like actually make time to like go over that and like, you know, get back into painting. But recently I feel like I've forgotten a lot of my hobbies. Um, I, I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I lied. Wait. <laughs> this, we did um, paint night one night. And so I have this still. Oh, nice. But it's it's, it's, it's nothing. Oh, like this. Yeah. It's yeah, a not. Bit more, a little bit. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not even my work though. I mean, I did it, but it's. Is it Van Gogh? No, it's not Van. It what? I think like the artist that was teaching us how to paint it. Um, it was like Van Gogh inspired, just because of the little spirals and everything. But it's not Van Gogh. It's um, it's Hogwarts. Because it was like a Harry. I think it was during Harry Potter's birthday. Okay. It was in in celebration to Harry Potter's birthday. Oh, yeah. I think disappointing people and losing people and um, I think just, I don't know, just not being the best that I could be. Um, and people just losing respect in that. I think that's why, like, I don't know. I try to do things to, like, the best that I could because then I'd be disappointed in myself if I didn't. Um, but then there are times where I'm super lazy and I don't do it, and then I'm like, oh. But I think that feeds a lot into my, I don't know. This is really personal. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm always one to face my fears um I'm afraid of a lot of things <laughs> but like I don't know I think I believe that you should look it in the eyes and I don't want anything to like keep me from doing from living in a sense like I'm so afraid to talk to people sometimes but then you know you have to <laughs> and you have to put yourself out there to do it and it's just it's just kind of giving you like yourself like a pep talk beforehand and it's just like okay like you have to think about the reward in the end like you may be so scared to do something but you think about like you know the outcome the potential that it holds and it's just so much more worth it than you not doing it you know and I think um I think it's a healthy view to have but it's also like it's something that I struggle with, too. Um. I love, like, I love making a difference in, like, you know, people's lives. Like, if it's just, like, one person, or, like, this person. Or... I love acting because I love, like, getting to know how people think. I don't know if this is this would be considered a passion, but um, I love like I love I don't know like I love getting into like the minds of people and like feeling what they feel or like understanding why it is the way that they feel like why how did how did this person get to I I love psychology I guess in a sense and like just like studying like humans and like people interacting and I love like simple acts of kindness like it's just like the little things that people do. Um, I can't think of it right now, but it's just like, it's just like there are moments where like, you're like walking or something and then you just see somebody like hand out, like a stranger, like helping another person put like something away or like, it's just, um, it's really nice. Um, which is why like, I've like, I don't know, I feel as though, um, I want to do something in that. <laughs> feels whatever it is <laughs> and then I love um I love singing um I love I don't know just joking around with people but I also love alone time as much as I love people I love my alone time where I can recharge and um think about my thoughts and um kind of make time to go paint or something <laughs> my hobbies and then um <laughs> I love my family. I love my my friends. And I, I love colors, but I also love the color black. <laughs> I have to point that out because somebody thinks I wear too much black. <laughs> For the most part, I I think I'm passionate about people. 
for the most part. As much as I say that I don't like them because of my past jobs, I think that um, we have a lot of potential and that, you know, we're capable of so many things. My family, and James, obviously, and my friends, um, like, like you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't very close to my family when I was younger, but I feel like now that we're older, um, I don't know, like now that we're older, I feel like all, each of us, every single one of my siblings, we finally realized like what my dad meant when you know he would tell us that you know there's nothing more important than family and um i think like now that like when we're older and now that like we've all like moved out of the home um it's kind of brought us closer in a sense like the distance made us closer made us hold on to each other more and it's really nice. It's nice to know that you have these people, you know, like it makes me sad when there are families that are torn apart, but then that sometimes that happens, but it makes that person stronger. And then you, I believe in creating your own family too, uh, with like your friends and everything. Like, um, there are like a few people that I consider to be my closest friends that I can always go to. And like even my siblings, you know, it's just, um, they're just the people that, like, no matter how I've behaved, because I can get, like, I'm, like, a brat sometimes. <laughs> like, my brothers, the fact that my family still loves me, because I was not nice <laughs> um, when I was a kid, and I, like, I did my own thing. I would, like, oh my gosh, I'd drive people crazy. Um, I would, like, do a bunch of hobbies, like projects. I'd like start at one project and like, oh, well, I'm gonna take a break from this. <laughs> so I'd leave it there and then I'd like go into the next corner and do another project. I still do that now and James is always just like, you can always tell where you've been because I come home <laughs> and there's like a trail of twee going around. <laughs> you have this project here and then you go <laughs> This year I feel like I focused a lot on my flaws and them. Um, I don't know, I it's been helpful having them there to remind me of my not so flawed aspects, <laughs> my better parts, and um, yeah. And so they're like, you know, they're like your safety net, which is why you have to hold them so dear. So my parents, they've, they've raised me, they've raised us like seven kids the best that they could. I think they did a good job. We are all, we all have our morals. We had, you know, I think, I think they taught us with like the mindset of treating people fairly and kind of loving one another. made a difference in their life hopefully positively uh, rather than negatively I hope they know how much I cared for them um, that, or like that I could like inspire them to like you know keep fighting even when it's like so hard um, yeah <laughs> hopefully I'm an inspiration <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hoarder. I'm just gonna. <laughs> but kind of like I go to like I love bookstores and um, I actually have been cutting back on buying books. Um, I've been wanting to make more time to read more. And growing up, my sister would always be reading and having a book in her hand. And I was like, oh, okay. I should I should get into reading. 
<laughs> Most of them are gifts. Some of them are gifts, um, which is awesome. Like I have this book, Star Girl, which one of my friends gave me um, in seventh grade. It was a surprise, and it was like around Christmas, and um, this was like when AIM was around the instant messaging thing and so I was on the computer and everything and all of a sudden my friend was on and she was just like hey check your front porch and I was like okay so I go in and check and like she gave me a gift and I was so surprised and I was like oh whoa that's crazy and so it turned out to be the book Star Girl which I love because because then I, I feel like that gesture really made an impact on me and also the character in the book it's like it's by Jerry Spinelli and um there's like this girl who she's weird she's like people find her really odd but she's very thoughtful and um she always tried to, I need to read it again but like she always like remembered people's birthdays or like it was a small town and so like people's birthdays would always be written in in the newspaper and so um she would she would make sure write a list of people whose ever's names were in the newspaper that day and during lunchtime she would sing happy birthday to them each and every one of them and i was like like i don't know it was just like it was just such a sweet story yeah and do you have any other questions <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it?